The 35 million of us will be hitting the roads in spite of soaring gas prices this week. And ABC's Ellen Lopez joins us from Atlanta with more. Good morning to you, Ellen. Hey, Eva, good morning. The unofficial start to the summer is in full swing. The travel rush already picking up. And while here in Atlanta, we're averaging just over $4 a gallon. The nationwide average is at $4.60. But the pain at the pump is not enough to keep travelers from hitting the roads. AAA is now predicting nearly 35 million people will travel by car this holiday weekend. And Atlanta, once again, will be one of the busiest, joining Chicago and Boston. Now, guys, if you're looking for for the lowest gas prices, apps like Gas Buddy can help you out. Other apps like Waze and Google Maps can help you find the fastest and most efficient ways to get to where you're going. As for when to head out, experts say the best time really is now, anytime before 10 a.m., the worst time, those afternoon hours between 1 and 6 p.m. What? Got to get out the door quickly. All right, Ellen, thank you. And some travelers already running into turbulence this weekend with hundreds of flights canceled this morning. Millions of Americans still taking to the skies as travel is expected to hit pre-pandemic levels. Here's ABC's transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez. Hey guys, good morning. The TSA screening nearly 2.4 million people at U.S. airports on the first day of this busy holiday travel weekend. That's about 25% more than last year. Now this morning, Delta is taking us inside the massive operation. This morning, millions hitting the skies. No, I'm just excited about traveling, going somewhere else. United, American and Delta collectively flying more than 14,000 flights a day this holiday weekend. The TSA expects to screen 2.1 million passengers a day at airports across the country at or even a little more than pre-pandemic level. We've got two years of pent-up vacations that we haven't had to take, but we're ready. To prepare for those long lines, the TSA has upped its staffing. We've increased the use of overtime. Uh, we're also uh, allowing officers that are in a part-time status to convert to full-time. With this summer expected to break travel records, Delta's Allison Osborne says this weekend's operation is critical. In many ways, this is just sort of like a dry run for the summer because you're expecting even more passengers after this. We want the dry run to go great this weekend because that will tell us, right, how the rest of summer is going to go. On your travel checklist, get to the airport early. Make sure you don't have any prohibited items in your carry-on and have the airline app ready in case you need to quickly rebook. Don't let the crowd concern you. It is going to be busy getting through, but know that it's absolutely safe. If you want to wear your mask on board, you can absolutely wear your mask on board. Now, airports should have less crowds today and tomorrow, but come Monday, it's going to pick right back up again as people go back home. Guys. All right, important to remember, fewer crowds today and tomorrow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.